Hello, and welcome to Rock Studios Asia Pacific. I'm Sydney Salazzo, Director of Sales Enablement at Rockwell Automation, and I am joined by Rajesh, who is a director at MultiVista Global, our premier distributor in India. Uh, Rajesh, maybe starting off with you, tell us a little bit more about MultiVista Global and how long have you been a partner of Rockwell's? First of all, thank you so much, Sydney, for having me here. Uh, MultiVista is a 40 plus year old industrial distribution company. And we partnered with Rockwell in the year 2010, and that's when our journey with Rockwell began. And that was also an introduction to the industrial automation side for us. And we further expanded our footprint into the southern part of Indian market. And thanks to Rockwell, we've also expanded into the Middle East and African part of the business. So it's been a very exciting last 12 years journey with Rockwell for us. Congratulations on that, and Exciting. thank you for thank being you so a, much. thank you for being a partner of ours for so long. Um, you know, I think as you're talking about that expansion, Rajesh, I think you know we're thinking about what's happened to all of us since the pandemic. And not only have you grown in your footprint of representing Rockwell, but there's been a lot of changes for us at Rockwell. I, in fact, heard the other day that since uh, 2020. Our, our overall employees have changed over 40%. So we have 40% of our employees are new to Rockwell during that time. Mm -hmm. Has MultiVista Global experienced some similar changes in terms of the number of people you are onboarding into your organization? It's not very far. Uh, yeah. I think for us, it will be roughly about 25% would of the resources since COVID. Uh, pretty much have been new resources. There are also new roles and responsibilities which has come up thanks to COVID, uh, which didn't exist before. So that's been a quite an expansion and quite a lot of new resources who have joined. Um, the expectation has also changed since then for us. Onboarding has been very different from what it was say pre-COVID for us. And uh, we have a very extensive onboarding program in MultiVista. It's about 20 days of onboarding, if I could wow. say that. There's also a lot to understand. Uh, we are largely a sales organization, so the candidate who joins us will have to understand MultiVista, will have to understand the partner and the way the partner works, and also the product and solution. Because we are a sales organization, they have to be able to communicate the various solutions and offerings of our partners effectively to the market. So, and also what has happened is we work in very diverse geography, so it also had to happen online. Um, people join at different times and different days. So it was very difficult for us to bring all of them together because of you know, social gathering challenges that we had Absolutely. because of COVID. So we had to move more online. We had to use resources like RAU very effectively, thankfully, to do the onboarding from the partner point of view. So it's been a very challenging time, but I think it's also been a very steep learning curve for us. I think we've all learned a lot about what uh, successful onboarding looks like, mm -hmm. especially in ability to do th certain things remotely and then maybe other things that yeah, maybe absolutely. don't work as well. Yeah, <laughs> so. like I said, it was a learning curve and we've accomplished a lot of things we thought we would never ever do and we've had to do that and we've successfully done that as well. So I think it's been a good learning journey for us. So we talked a lot about what's changing in our own organizations and just the influx and how we're trying to onboard and get people up to speed mm -hmm. quicker. What are you seeing are you on the customer side, Rajesh? Are you seeing changes in your customers and especially in the industrial and, and different things that they're coming to MultiVista Global asking for? You know, it was a strange experience because from not wanting to meet people outside the organization because of COVID, right? And now everyone wants to meet us. Yes. So, <laughs> you know, we've, we've started interacting with the HR department, which we would have never done before, mm. right? And there's been a big churn of people, just like what we have had. We've also seen that in our end user customers, system integrators, OEMs. It's been a very constant across any kind of customer that we deal with or partner that we deal with. So there's been a big change. And we've also had to take the responsibility of training their team because they come from competition background, they may not be familiar with Rockwell, and it's the more quicker they get comfortable with working with Rockwell, the more beneficial it is for us. So this is something as a responsibility which we were not having so much of before, but have had to take that now on to us. So it's a very critical part of our business right now. So, you know, helping your team have more effective customer conversations is one of the primary things that my team is working on. So, mm -hmm. we think about partner enablement and really the lenses of both commercial and technical. Mm -hmm. And our, our tagline is we want to equip our distributors with everything you need to know, say, and do mm -hmm. to have more effective customer conversations. 
What are you leveraging on the on the Rockwell automation side? Are you leveraging some of the outcome-based selling tools and, and using some of that to help with those commercial conversations with so your we, customers? We've just started having those conversations with Rockwell and getting to know more about it. Okay. But I can tell you in sales enablement, out of the 12 brands that we probably represent, Rockwell is a benchmark for us. The, the kind of focus that they bring on to sales enablement for the partners, right, and the extension of all these programs to the partners, I think Rockwell would be a big benchmark for us. And outcome-based selling is one part of it where the conversations have begun, and hopefully that takes us to a much better sales experience on the commercial side. Well, that's wonderful to hear, and I'm so glad you're able to leverage and, and keep holding us accountable to keep driving Always. additional value if you do find something from another one of your vendors who want to know about it. So These conversations continue, and it was great, Thomas. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Rajesh. Thank Make you. sure you check out rockwellautomation.com for more exclusive videos. Thank you. Thank you.